is a tall order. Let's hope they get all the help that they need. You know, it comes up after every mass shooting. People saying we need to address mental health in this country, but we found out today the suspect's father lived in Collin County and worked as a mental health counselor. Investigative reporter Tanya Iser has been looking into Patrick Cruzius's background. Any idea if he was close with his father? Well, honestly, we do not know. We know his father worked at a psychiatric hospital and until six weeks ago, he was living with his grandparents. We also know that FBI agents searched his grandparents home and two other locations today, and they also seized security footage from a Walmart he frequented and the weapon used in that attack was bought legally. Patrick Crucius wears a smirk in his junior year high school yearbook photo. By the next year, his senior year, the smirk is gone. On his LinkedIn page, he says, I'm not really motivated to do more than what's necessary to get by. Now, investigators are trying to unravel what would lead this self-described slacker to drive hundreds of miles, walk into a Walmart with a gun, and allegedly kill 20 people. We are devastated by the events of El Paso and pray for the victims of this tragedy. This is a friend reading a statement issued by his grandparents this afternoon. He lived with us in our house in Allen, Texas, while he attended junior college. His grandparents asked for privacy. Well, of course, they're very uh, distraught. Crucius graduated from Plano Senior High School in 2017. He had no known criminal history. A picture from his yearbook quotes him saying, it's interesting to learn about how the world of law enforcement works. He was like, Kind of always like walking alone. Didn't seem like he had too many friends. Daniel Ha is a former classmate. He was like one of those people that like kind of just sat in the back of the classroom. In the hour before the attack, a four page manifesto allegedly written by Crucius appeared online. This attack is a response to the Hispanic invasion of Texas, the author writes. They are the instigators, not me. I am simply defending my country from cultural and ethnic replacement brought on by an invasion. This shooter was trying to convey to his peers that he had thought this through. Megan Squires tracks far right online extremism and worries the attack could lead to others. They're inspiring each other. They're creating this narrative where they're valorizing one another. In Dallas, I'm Tanya Iser.